from Glenn Bart at SKN Newsline. Mr. Bart asks, the issue of trust seems to be a critical concern expressed by many persons. Community policing has been offered as a solution, yet people are concerned about, the in about leakage of information from within the force. How is this major concern going to be addressed effectively? Police force at this time this is undertaking some polygraph activities. Polygraph is one of the mechanisms in which we are trying to combat leakage of information. In recent times, a number of persons said that they would give the police information and as soon as they give the police information, that information is shared with other members of the public. However, we have not had any indication from anybody and we have always appealed to those persons, if you give police information and your information is leaked, you have the right to come and report that leakage to the professional standard. But we are not getting that from the general public. We continue to monitor, we continue to monitor our internal communication. We continue to devise strategies to see how best we can tighten our information. But we have to recognize that we are in the age of instant communication. The WhatsApp, the smartphones, and at recent times we have been discussing ways in which we can improve our regulations to combat those type of activities inside the organization. Um, we have some mechanisms. Those are what we are activity to say at this point in time. But we are continuing to review and continue to work on the strategies to combat leakage. We have seen it. It's a concern for us. It's a serious concern for us. And we will continue to work on that so that the public can be reassured that their information is protected. Once again, I want to appeal to persons out there. If your information has been leaked, you could go to the police, Basel police station or any police station and report those matters and the professional, the Office of Professional Standards would investigate, investigate those matters thoroughly. Some time back, mention was made of polygraph testing within the police force. And we understand, well, reports suggest that a particular unit within the force opted not to participate in that testing. Can you speak to that? And is polygraph testing still ongoing? That's one. Two, I want to go back a bit because I realize the focus has been on recent cases. Uh, this one is from 2020. What is the status of the investigation into suspected fraudulent payments from the Severance Payment Fund to former members of the Police Cooperative Credit Union? And what is the status of the investigation into the charge laid against Craig Tuckett for, according to police, perverting the course of justice? Thank you. The alleged fraud that was um, involving members of the, the Police Credit Union Limited, those ma that matter is before the court. Based on my understanding, that matter will come up shortly. Similarly, the matter with Craig Tuckett, who has been charged for attempt to pervert the course of justice, that matter also is pending before the court. The, the. 
With regards to the um, polygraph testing, we, yes, we were doing some testing recently of our specialized unit and a number of persons opted not to, to be vetted and some internal decisions were taken with regards to those persons. Can you clarify what those decisions were? They have been reassigned to elsewhere. I am Alvarine Cable. I am Carissa Cable. Thank you for joining us on KN Week.